Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Zane and I study how the brain controls food intake and behaviour. Hormones from the body that signal and tell the brain that we're hungry, we've shown that these hormones can also influence mood, motivation and memory. We have a population of cells in our brains that regulate appetite. And what they do is they increase our appetite. And these primarily lie in the hypothalamus, which is an ancient part of the brain. Those appetite-inducing cells that lie in the hypothalamus, they send projections to other parts of the brain. So they have these long little fibres that go to, for example, the limbic region of the brain, and that's important for mood. They also go and influence the hippocampus, which is important for memory, and to the midbrain, which is important for motivation. In the case of hunger, that hypothalamus is really, really important for sensing nutrients nutrients that float around in our bodies, hormones that float around in our bodies. It's very important for sensing this, integrating this and saying, oh, I need to eat food. Hanger, H-A-N-G-E-R, hunger and anger. Hanger is actually this feeling of grumpiness when you're hungry. That's actually part of the motivational drive that is encouraging you to go out and seek food, to find food. One day, my son Kai was really hungry. He became very, very grumpy and angry. So I took him to the store and I bought him some chicken and some chips. Within minutes, he was happy. He was walking around, smiling, interacting. And it just shows you the power of how food can influence our behavior. Hunger influences motivation because you don't want to seek out foods that have very little energy. You don't want to waste your time walking around, burning energy, looking for food that doesn't have enough energy. You want to spend your time looking for food that is rich in fats and sugars. You think about having to find food, having to remember when food is available in certain environments. It makes perfect sense that those neurons controlling hunger influence the pathways controlling memory. What we're really interested in doing now is understanding the neural circuits that connect the hypothalamus to those different brain regions that influence mood, motivation and memory. Think about the building we're in right now. There's complicated wiring everywhere, there's lights, there's power. If something goes wrong and those lights go out, what we can do is we can go to a wiring diagram and basically say, okay, I think the problem is here and we can address that problem. We want to achieve the same in the brain. We want to understand how the brain is wired, particularly around the control of food intake, so that we can go back to that wiring diagram and go, okay, here's the issue. We think the problem is here. Now let's go and fix it. But we can't go back and fix it if we don't know what the wiring diagram is. So firstly, we are working out what that wiring diagram is, and that's a big task. As you can imagine, the brain is very complicated, 100 billion neurons, 100 trillion synapses, and so we're going through sort of pathway by pathway to try and piece together how these connections work. Yeah.